Introduction to Hydroponics Hydroponic Systems There are six types of hydroponic systems. Wick Systems Deep Water Culture, DWC Nutrient Film Technique, NFT Ebb and Flow, Flood and Drain Aeroponics Drip Systems 1. Wicking Systems This is called passive hydroponics, which means you don't need any air or water pumps to use it. To date, the wick system is the simplest hydroponic system. Nutrients and water enter the roots of plants through the wick, which is usually as simple as a rope or felt. The wick system is ideal for small plants that do not require a lot of water or nutrients. Large plants can struggle to get enough water with a simple wick system. Benefits of the wick system If set up correctly, you can really let go. Ideal for small plants, beginner gardeners and children. Downsides of the wick system not suitable for large plants. Improper wick placement or materials can cause plant death. 2. Deep Water Culture DWC, System Hydroponics is the simplest system of all active hydroponic systems. Plant platforms are usually made of styrofoam and flow directly on the nutrient solution. The air pump supplies air to the air stone, foams the nutrient solution, and supplies oxygen to the roots of the plants. How a deep water culture system works In deep water culture systems, you use reservoirs to hold nutrient solutions. The roots of plants are suspended in this solution, so they can continuously supply water, oxygen and nutrients. To oxygenate the water, use a gas pump with air stones to pump air bubbles into the nutrient solution. This prevents your roots from drowning in the water. This is a strange thing, but for many beginners, it can, and does, happen to hydroponics. Benefits of Deep Water Culture Very cheap and easy to make at home. Extremely low maintenance costs. Recycling, reducing wasteful inputs. Downsides of deep water culture. Not work well for large plants. Not work well for plants with long growing period. 3. Nutritional Film Technology, NFT, System. Nutritional Film Technology System. Plants grow in channels with nutrient solutions and continue to run along the bottom of the channels. When the solution reaches the end of the channel, it trips back into the main container and then returns to the beginning of the system again. Just like deep water aquaculture, this makes it a recycling system. Unlike deep water culture, your plant roots are not completely submerged in the NFT system. Film dot. Plants are placed in these channels using net pots and growing media, and plants can be replaced or harvested one on one. Benefits of nutrition film technology Requires minimal growth medium. Recycling means less waste. Downsides of nutrient film technique any form of pump failure can completely damage your crop. Roots can grow in block channels. Four, ebb and flow flood and drain systems. The flooding system, also known as the flooding and drainage system, is a little known system. But they are still very effective and may be the best choice depending on your situation. This is usually done using a submersible pump connected to a timer. 
Unlike the first two hydro systems, the ebb and flow system does not keep the roots of the plants in the nutrient solution at all times. Instead, you can grow in trays filled with growing media. Flood the tray with nutrient solution several times a day, depending on your plant size, water requirements for your plants, air temperature, where are your plants in the growth cycle. The flooding can be done by using the water reservoir, pump and timer under the tray to plan the flooding cycle. After the tray is full, gravity drains the solution back to the storage tank, where it is oxygenated by our pumps and air stones. It sits there waiting for the next flooding cycle. Benefits of ebb and flow Efficient use of water and energy Highly customizable to meet your specific needs Downsides of ebb and flow If the environmental conditions are poor or the pump or timer fails, the roots may dry quickly. Use much of growing media. Five, aeroponic systems. Aeroponic systems are the most high-tech hydroponic facility you can build. But once you understand how they work, they are not that complicated. Aeroponic system. The aeroponic system is similar to the NFT system, and its roots are mostly suspended in the air. The difference is that the aeroponic system achieves this goal by constantly misting the root area with the nutrient solution instead of running the nutrient solution film along the channel. Some growers prefer to defog on a cycle like an ebb and flow system, but the cycle is much shorter, usually waiting only a few minutes between each misting. It is also possible to continuously mist and use a finer sprayer to ensure more oxygen enters the root area. Aeroponic culture systems have been shown to grow plants faster than some of the simpler systems, such as deep water culture, but have not proven correct in all cases. If you want to try this system, you need a special nozzle to atomize the nutrient solution. Benefits of aeroponics. Roots are usually exposed to more oxygen than submerged roots. Downsides of aeroponics high pressure nozzles may fail and roots may dry out. Not as cheap or easy to set up as other methods. Six, drip systems. Drip systems are extremely common in commercial operations and less common in recreational gardens. This is because they are easy to handle on a large scale, but are overkill for smaller gardens. Regardless, they are a great way for hydroponic growth you should consider. Benefits of drip systems High control over feeding and watering schedules Less likely to crack. Relatively cheap. Downsides of drip systems. May be overkill for smaller gardens. pH and nutritional levels fluctuate if using a circulatory system. High waste if the waste system is used. These are just the basic models of hydroponics and the hybrid model has unlimited possibilities. In practice, we can design special patterns to meet our needs.